Good day, learners. In this video, we will explain how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different body parts. Let's begin. The respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from different parts of the body. The respiratory system is responsible for the gas exchange in the body. It delivers oxygen to the body and gets rid of the carbon dioxide. On the other hand, the circulatory system is responsible for oxygen and nutrient transport to every cell of the body. Moreover, it is also responsible for removing carbon dioxide and other wastes from the cells. First, let us recall the breathing process. Unfiltered air enters the body through the nose. Then it will be filtered in the nasal cavity. The filtered air will now enter the pharynx, going to the larynx. The air is then filtered once more in the trachea. This filtered air enters through the lobes of the lungs through the left and right bronchi, then to the bronchioles. After bronchioles are tiny air sacs, called alveoli, where actual gas exchange happens. Gas exchange between the bloodstream and alveoli happens when the right ventricle of your heart contracts. During this contraction, the blood goes to the two pulmonary arteries going to the lungs. Gas exchange between the bloodstream and alveoli happens when the right ventricle of your heart contracts. During this contraction, the blood goes to the two pulmonary arteries going to the lungs. Let us now discuss what happens to the oxygen-rich blood, let us call this as oxygenated blood. The oxygenated blood flows into the pulmonary vein, going to the left atrium. As the left atrium contracts, the oxygenated blood goes to the left ventricle. Let us now discuss what happens to the oxygen-rich blood, let us call this as oxygenated blood. The oxygenated blood flows into the pulmonary vein, going to the left atrium. As the left atrium contracts, the oxygenated blood goes to the left ventricle. The oxygenated blood is now delivered to all cells of the body. While delivering oxygen, the blood picks up the carbon dioxide produced by the cells. Let us call this blood as deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood returns to the right atrium through the veins. Deoxygenated blood from the head and neck goes back to the heart through the superior vena cava while blood from the abdomen and lower parts of the body goes back through the inferior vena cava. When deoxygenated blood is delivered to the heart, the right ventricle contracts. Gas exchange between the alveoli and the bloodstream happens again and the cycle continues. In summary, here is a diagram explaining how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together. There will be an evaluation of your understanding of the lesson. Are you ready? Let's start. Which of the following systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body? The correct answer is B, respiratory and circulatory systems. As the right ventricle contracts, the blood goes to the two, blank, going to the lungs. The correct answer is C, pulmonary arteries. The oxygenated blood flows into the pulmonary vein, going to the blank.
The correct answer is A. Left atrium. As the left atrium contracts, the oxygenated blood goes to the blank. The correct answer is D. Left ventricle. Which of the following statements is true? The correct answer is C. From the alveoli, oxygen enters the bloodstream while carbon dioxide leaves the bloodstream and enters the alveoli. How many correct answers did you get? If you got all correct answers you are doing great. If you got some incorrect answer, don't worry, you can rewatch this video to review in which question did you get wrong. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any feedback or suggestions for future videos. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one.